It's currently um too fucking early, aka 1 p.m. And I have decided to do a story time. About that time, Killer Clowns chased me with a chainsaw. Let's just jump into the preface a little. Okay. So, okay, so this was during the this period of time where killer clowns just happened to be roaming the streets because that was a completely normal period of time time of period of life so that was like a thing and i know some of them like you know we're just doing it for fun we're just messing around but some of them quite fucking scary and quite real about it this does take place at like an abandoned place now i just want to say before i get into this video that there wasn't any fences up there wasn't any like um any like signs saying like don't go in so um we did the smart thing by going in you know just to test the waters just to you know so now that we've got that <laughs> out of the way just a little bit about the layout before we get into this there was the burnt down bit and then there was um, a separated building and then there was like the big building which was two stories and had just it was kind of like an L shape yeah so that's all like you really need to know pretty much so we were walking around and we went into like the first like separated building first and like um there was like two like different classrooms two different sides and there was two ways to get in we went into like the one and there was like boring room not much in there and then you'd go into the next one and there was like a little skate ramp so we like walked into that second room and we start like he hearing things like drop and like little like rattles and like trinkets um but you don't think anything of it because it's abandoned and it's like falling apart and you're like well that was probably just like the roof falling down or something <laughs> you know just the normal stuff right sorry the audio decided to disappear on the rest half of this video so we're gonna continue on a different day <laughs> anyway continuing on so we came out of the second door of this separated building so we didn't go back through the room to check if anyone was there like we really didn't think anything of it so we kept going um, and then we got to the l-shaped building and as I said before there's um, a stairwell on this end and there's a stairwell on in the conjoining part so we sat on the first stairwell at the end that's what we're gonna call it <laughs> the first stairwell so we sat there we just were talking whatever then we decided to go up and what we saw on the second floor um, someone and we didn't see anyone there but someone easily could have like gone to the second stairwell gone up and created this thing in the time that we were sitting down and talking and then left down the second stairwell. So we got up these stairs. Someone sees something down the end of the hallway and it's smoke like billowing out of this room. And we were all like, oh fuck, like what is that? And we were like, well we have to check because you know, in case anyone else is here, we have to like call the fire department. Um, just in case and like you know there's houses around so you have to do the right thing here by the way quick disclaimer if I get any of the names wrong or like the wrong people this was a very long time ago so I'm sorry if I get people muddled up so me and Kelly walk into this room there was this barrel right and inside the barrel there was a fire and I was like okay I'm just gonna like go over look in just to make sure like we can put it out or like it's not gonna get too big or whatever kelly like you know goes into this room and she goes to the opposite end of the door like where the door is and the barrel is it's about two meters away from the door and i looked in i was like holy shit someone has rigged this to blow because i looked in and i don't know much about like explosives and stuff but if you see obviously this is so like if you see a deodorant can in a fire it's about to blow but this was set up like there was a ring of deodorant cans and then the fire was in the middle and then there was paper so it was slowly spreading out and i was like kelly like run and, like kelly was sprinting and we ran and we managed to get like a halfway down the hallway and then everyone stopped and we're like okay what the fuck is going on like and why are we running blah 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 and i was like oh i'm sorry i thought like that barrel was about to blow they're like oh don't be so stupid huh? and they're all live at me i was like oh well boy. and then we like take literally one step towards back towards that room and Burn. the whole room just blows up the glass goes flying all the windows blown out the door was like half off its hinges and i had no idea that 
you could turn into something so big like that. And we have no idea how, how loud that was how loud it was to like people like living around and the whole like building like shook and we were like why would someone like set that up like that is crazy so we're like okay we got to get out of here we got to get out of here so we ran and we ran past the second stairwell because i have no idea i think we just didn't see it we were just in a panic and then we ran up the second like arm of the L if that makes sense so away from both of the stairwells and we get to the end and we're like oh shit like there's no stairwell here we go to the end and we're like there's no like staircase here and we're like what the hell and I was like this school is kind of set up real poor we were like okay we'll just look in this one room because someone goes oh my god look at this and it was like a table with like writing on it. I don't know. It was something stupid. So we like stayed in that end of that hallway and just for a little bit and they explored this like little room because they found something. I don't know. I was ready to hit legs because I was a little pussy. There was okay. So there was a room on the end. It kind of looked like a teacher's office to be honest because it was kind of smaller. And then there was a room like right next to it. It's hard to explain. Okay. Let me just give you a layer of this real quick, real quick. Um, there was an L-shaped room in this L-shaped building. Does that make sense? So there was an L-shaped room at the end of this hallway, corridor, whatever. And there was two doors to get into this L-shaped room. One was at one end of the L, one was at the other end of the L. Let me, okay, I'm gonna draw this out. This is where, and here's the hallway, and here's the stairwell. This is where we entered. We went around and then my ass goes, come on guys, let's go. So I walk here and I stand here. I stand just in the doorway. And that's when I turn, I look down the corridor and I saw the scariest thing of my life. I cannot explain to you the emotions I had in this moment and this is where i realize i'm not the person that gets frozen i'm the person that flails their arm around like being absolutely useless <laughs> i don't know what's worse so i saw this and i will describe what i saw to you at the end of the hallway in front of the second staircase the only the closest exit to us there was a man in a clown suit revving a chainsaw not only that beside him was were two girls wearing a mask this was horror movie shit right and i saw it and obviously like it's a pretty clear line of sight they saw me and i was like I was like, guys, 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 because they were like writing on a table. I don't know what they were doing, but I was like, I was like, Jet, like everyone, you have to see this. There's people there. They've got a chainsaw, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, okay, you're doing us up. You're doing us up. And I was like, I don't give a shit. Just look, just look. Because I knew that they had already seen us. I was just standing in the doorway and I was like, I ain't taking my eyes off them for a motherfucking second. They are not disappearing on me. I'm gonna watch them right until like they chop off my head, okay? I'd rather know where they are than them just disappear and have them jump out at me. That is way worse. So I was just staring at them and I was like, what are we doing? What's the plan? Are we jumping out off this two-story building? Am I landing on the concrete? Am I breaking both my legs? What is happening? <laughs> We're just gonna have to like plan this right. And so they come all the way up and they're like, they're like trying to like block us in this room. So the clown, right, is trying to torment us. So he, so we're all in this end doorway looking straight down to the corridor. And he comes in the side doorway and he's like walking around. And then the girl was like in front of us at this um, doorway. So we're like, okay, easy. And we like push her out of the way. Sorry to whoever that was. And we start legging it. And like they just start like revving and like laughing and go, <laughs> like whatever creepy things they were doing and we were all legging it and we were like screaming and we ran down this stairway and people were tripping, slipping, bars. <laughs> there was crap everywhere, there was glass everywhere, people were getting like cut and I've never run so fast in my life as we were getting off the lot 
these other people were going on to the lot and we were like run like run and then these people start freaking out and then there's people like the goes from like a group of like five kids to like a group of like 10 kids just screaming and like running and like the people around us being like what the hell is going on because they just heard a massive bang and now there's like revving and now there's kids running everywhere <laughs> screaming and then we all like we kind of like half split up half didn't and we all like met back up at Macca's and we're like what the hell just happened but it does not end there I swear to god um we were got back in the cars because we literally had just like run so far we well my kids isn't that far from where place was but oh my god <laughs> so yeah then we finally like got the courage got back to the cars like drove out of there I don't know why we didn't like get go to the cars first I think like some people just like ran and went go to Mecca's and I can't even explain the stupid decisions that we made but it's fine and so we got back in the car and we we're driving and me and I think it was one other person just looked down on our phones and there is a message from the Killer Clowns Facebook page I think it was like Killer Clowns Subtle and Shy it was very it was oddly professional <laughs> and they'd messaged us and they were like nice seeing you today and I was like there are a lot of nice things that happened today. Seeing you was not one of them. We think that they knew who they were because we were screaming each other's names and it, honestly, the Shire is a small place. I wouldn't be surprised if it was someone we actually knew. <laughs> okay, so I actually found fucking 12 photos from like the photos we took that day and like I'll put them in. <laughs> I think now I'm realizing the reason why we like went into that room instead of like realizing there was no staircase and then leaving is because I'm pretty sure we wanted to take photos and I the reason even though I was shit scared shitless of like the fire I think I was the reason that we stayed for a little bit longer to take the photos <laughs> And you'll see the photo. That's so bad. Oh my god. Okay. Moving on. I wish I got footage of that, but I was like 12. I had like a 4S or something. I think I might actually have a photo of like me posing against a graffiti wall like seconds before the fucking people came. Like the scary people came. And if I find the messages, I'll slot that in but also got new accounts and stuff. I don't know, between that and getting followed around by the gang, um, if you haven't seen that story, go check it out. We were followed by a gang. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe before, before this clown comes back and kills me. Thank you. <laughs> huh, huh, okay. Kim Keen, out. <laughs>